Hey everybody, you're probably looking at a company that most of you have known. It's been around for over 120 years, McCormick. That iconic red capped plastic bottle with spices and herbs that so many of you have come to know. Well, what I want to talk to you about is a dirty little secret that this McCormick company and a lot of other food companies have been doing and keeping you in the dark about. So what I want to show you is a photo that I came across on a pro GMO labeling Facebook website, Facebook group. This is a yellow, buttercup yellow decoration frost, cake frosting, cake decoration frosting. And when I saw it, I was really surprised. It, it, sh it, it showed genetically modified ingredients, corn syrup, GMO, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, genetically modified, maltodextrin, genetically modified, cornstarch, genetically modified. I thought that this was fake because I'd never seen any product labeled with GMO on it before. So I, I scrolled through down, you know, looking through, I scrolled down. Lo and behold, this product is made by McCormick Foods and it's imported into Australia by McCormick Foods Australia Limited. But the kicker was that this product is made in the United States of America. In the United States, we don't have the right or law to require these companies to label any of their products that contain genetically engineered ingredients, but yet they are able to produce the products in the United States and export them to foreign markets with labels that show that they have that they have and do contain genetically engineered ingredients. I thought that was just completely astounding. And I, I say that because if you look at Proposition 37, the right to know, label genetically engineered foods that was back in California last year, in November. It was voted out, but it was a very, very close vote. And there is some conspiracy out there that, that there was some tampering with the voting on this because it was so close. But what a lot of people don't know and aren't aware of is that there was a multitude of companies that donated to anti-right to know labeling. And a few of those companies I'm going to show you are probably going to surprise you. McCormick Spices donated over $64,000 towards this anti-labeling Proposition 37 campaign. But that's a drop in the bucket compared to some of these corporations here that I'm about to show you. If you look at some of the big players, BASF Plant Sciences, 1.6 million. Bear Crop Sciences, 1.6 million. You're going to recognize a lot of these food companies. Campbell, Cargill, Coca-Cola, 1.1 million. ConAgra Foods, over a million dollars. Del Monte Foods, Dow AgriSciences, 1.18 million dollars. DuPont, 4 million dollars. General Mills, Heinz, Hormel Foods, it's truly amazing the amount of money that went into this campaign to keep people in the dark, to tell lies to people that, ge that labeling genetically engineered foods was going to be a huge inconvenience. It was going to raise the cost of food dramatically. The cost was going to be passed down to consumers. And they really took it to the nth degree to scare people into believing that they're not going to be able to afford food because this labeling is going to be so expensive. But the biggest contributor, as you probably would have expected, is Monsanto Corporation. $4.2 million. Here you go, here's your McCormick, only at $64,645. Kind of makes it sound like a drop in the bucket, doesn't it? So, when you look at the fact that there are over 50 countries in the world that require genetically modified foods to be labeled. And then you look at the countries that don't. 
United States and Canada, it's pretty discouraging. But it's, it's not without reason. And I say that because Monsanto and BASF and a lot of these corporations that have heavy ties in the lobbying community within Washington, D.C., have perverted our Congress and our government and our regulatory or organizations that monitor food safety and food quality to the point that they've bought out the United States government. Senator Debbie Stabenow of Michigan is on the board for agriculture uh, issues that relate to agriculture in the United States Senate. She was one of the three supporters and um, main advocates for the Monsanto Protection Act that was slipped into the continuing appropriation spending bill uh, a few months back that was signed into law by President Obama. Now just a few weeks ago, actually a week ago or so, Debbie Stabenow when questioned by a, another senator said that it was unacceptable that this Protection Act was slipped into this appropriations bill without any commission looking over what was truly in this in this act what verbiage was in there exactly what this act was was going to mean to these agri companies essentially meaning now that they're protected from lawsuits by putting out crops and products that could harm people it's truly a government and corporation intertwined mess and so as people we need to come together and we need to tell these companies McCormick hey guess what we know what you're doing you're perfectly capable of labeling genetically modified ingredients in your products in the United States for sale in foreign markets, but yet you refuse to grant that same right to Americans in this country where your company was founded who purchased your products on a daily basis. You deny them the right to know the information of what is in the products you sell, where they're sourced, where they come from. And it's only going to be by the pressure of the people that this change occurs. Because every state that's tried to put out legislation has been hammered with threats of lawsuits, with federal government pressure against making state laws for labeling of GE foods. But this is gaining momentum, this is gaining power. I want to ask you guys to please, please send photos of food products from around the world, especially ones that have been imported into your countries from the United States that show that they have genetically engineered ingredients in them. I, I implore you to go to these companies' Facebook pages and email them and, and write on their walls and tell them how you feel. Show them photos and say, why are you labeling these products that contain genetically engineered ingredients in other countries and withholding this information from us? Is there something that you're afraid to tell us? Is there something dangerous about this? Is it that you, your morals are only guided by the rule of law rather than true morality and you caring about the well-being of the people who buy your products that's what you need to ask them because when they fear the consumer the consumer's dollar is a vote every time you purchase one of their products you're casting a vote and they know that they know that if they label GE pro products products that contain GE ingredients if they label them they know there will be backlash but better, you better believe it. They have scientists that can find and source ingredients that are conventional and non-genetically modified to use in their products while maintaining the same standard and quality of the food product that consumers have come to expect without 
any repercussions. The fact that these companies say it's more expensive to label these products as being genetically engineered and modified and that the regulation of the labeling is going to be more expensive is absolute nonsense. The fact that they can spend so much money on anti-labeling just goes to show that they have the money and they just don't want to do it. They just do not want to do it. So again, I ask and I implore you guys to speak out, put out the word about this. This was pretty shocking. I'd like to know where this is manufactured. I'd like to send an email to whoever runs this division of foreign, uh, of U.S. domestically produced products from McCormick that are produced for foreign markets. I'd like to find out their contact information and ask them exactly how much more does it cost to add a few words on the end of a label just to tell the people exactly what's in the products that they're buying. We have the right to know. We have the right to know. That's simply all there is to it. And it comes down to education. It's all about education. It's about, this is not just about labeling. Labeling is just to send the message that we want GMOs out of our food. We don't want GMOs to contaminate our food supply to kill bees to destroy the ecosystem, to destroy the benefits of organic food, to contaminate organic food and to ruin farmers' lives. We don't want that. We, we want these GMO foods to be taken out of the food supply. And for all of those of you who are not awake, we're here to do the work for you until you wake up. So send me some photos, guys, please. Comment and then send me inbox messages um, I can give you my email and you can send me photos. I'd really like to get some that are from overseas that are imported from the United States so that we can continue to post them on these companies' pages and say, hey, that you, you paid money for anti-labeling, but yet you're doing it in other countries. You said it was too expensive, but you're doing it in other countries. You're making those products in the United States of America. Why can't you put that very same label on the very same product on every shelf in the United States that you put on other shelves in other countries? That's what we have to ask them. So I'll leave you guys with that. I hope that um, this gives you some motivation to push forward. Because I think that this is absolutely ridiculous. So thanks guys for listening. Uh, do your part. Go to McCormick's page and uh, ask them about that $64,000 donation um, and what that was all about. I did. I implore you guys to do the same. I wish you guys all the best. Peace and safety. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.